In this week's Iron Talk, we'll discuss the topic of noise and how it can affect your hearing. This is an important subject for farmers to understand because next to airport workers, no occupation suffers more hearing loss than farmers. Even if you're a younger farmer, chances are that you have enough exposure already to loud noises to cause some degree of hearing loss. Today, we'll share with you how noise is quantified, where you're most at risk for hearing loss, and talk about how to protect yourself now and for years to come. Noise is everywhere on the farm, from a skid loader cleaning out livestock pens to a tractor in the field. As a farmer, you have no choice but to be right in the middle of all the noise from time to time. You understand that it's loud, but how loud is too loud? Noise is quantified by the decibel scale. Every 10 decibel increase is twice as loud a noise. For example, if you hear a noise, it needs to be at least 10 decibels. Leaves rustling in the fall breeze is considered to be a 40 decibel sound. Some of us talk louder than others, but the conversation at the coffee shop shop is about 60 decibels. Now we could sit there and listen and talk all day and even that loud guy from out of town wouldn't damage our hearing. However, if you're working around equipment, it could be another story. A jackhammer makes a noise at 130 decibels. A shotgun can be 150 decibels or more. Even common tools used in the farm shop like an impact wrench or a circular saw can make noise at greater than 100 decibels. According to the National Safety Council, noises at less than 85 decibels for an 8-hour day are safe for the average person. Newer tractor cabs keep equipment noise in the acceptable range, provided the windows are closed. Remember, though, a 10 10 decibel increase represents twice as loud a noise. An average diesel truck, for example, operates at 95 decibels. That's twice as loud as that 85. That's a normal, safe range. And remember, those shop tools, they're running at 100 decibels or more, so they're even louder. Our biggest tip for today, protect your hearing. Whether you use the little foam earplugs or a fancy headset, doing something is really important. So how much protection do you need? Well, it depends on the job you're going to do and the noise reduction rating or the NRR of the hearing protection device. You can find good protection of a 20 or 30 decibel reduction. Also, Active Noise Reduction, or ANR, earmuff protection can electronically cancel out unpleasant noise. The other thing you can do is simply limit the amount of time you're around loud noises. If you have a lot of cutting to do with a circular saw, spread out your work over several hours or even several days. Breaking up long periods of noise exposure can reduce your stress level and protect your hearing. In review, other than airport workers, farming is the number one occupation for hearing loss. Protect your hearing with earmuffs, headsets, or even foam ear plugs, and limit the duration of your exposure to loud noises. Follow these guidelines to keep your hearing for years to come. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.